She looks he like a white woman fishing. I thought you were a white woman in face. Oh my gosh. Come on, this is a white woman wearing bronzer. How stupid are you people? I just realized that's all your real hair, literally hair gold. It's a wig, also she is white but wearing a lot of bronzer. Rachel Dozel. You are so beautiful, but with all those artificial things, first the contacts, then the lipstick, you look totally unreal. Like you came from the water. I mean, mermaid spirit. Please return yourself to normal. Jesus, is this again one of those girls coloring herself? Her skin looks so freaky fake. And this awkward wig not to mention? I mean, if she wants to do it, why not? People color their hair in everything. Why not skin color? Just if she is faking her identity, that would not be okay. Hey Z Stars, what's good in the hood? It's your girl Epic Czar, and I'm back with another video. Thank you so much for joining me. If this is your first time here, welcome to my beautiful family. We do a lot of interesting things on this channel, have a lot of unique chats on this channel, so be sure to subscribe so you know when I post a new video. Now today I'd like to talk about something very unique and probably kind of crazy. I know you guys already saw the title of this video, and um, that's what we're going to be talking about. I want to talk about all the accusations being levied against me that I'm not black. So I'm accusations even are saying that I'm not real. Now you guys, I'm using natural light, so the light is going to go in and out a bit most likely throughout the duration of this video. Bear with me, because this is a really interesting topic and I had to film for you all today. Anywho, like I said, I'm being accused a lot of not being black and we're here to talk about the stigma surrounding being beautiful black and a woman, <laughs> the stigma surrounding being a unique looking black woman, and also the stigma that surrounds being a black woman who experiments with her appearance. Now you all can follow and check out my Instagram. I'll show you all some pictures as well as link it so you can form your own unique opinion as to whether or not I'm actually black. But ultimately, of course, I obviously think I look very black. Now, I don't want to be too long-winded because it's a very interesting topic, so let's get right into the video. But of course, before we do, please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Be sure to comment down below. Let me know if people have accused you of not being black or being mixed when you're 100% black. Be sure to also share this video with your friends and loved ones. And last but never least, be sure to subscribe to my channel and turn your notifications on so you know every time I post a new video. Thank you so much. Stay tuned and let's get right into this really interesting topic. Now this video is going to be extremely interactive. I'm going to be posing a lot of questions as well as conjecturing a lot and I'd like you all to respond. Now nothing is extremely concrete because I mean as much as I am literally 100% black, the perceptions regarding my appearance are very much opinion based. So please be sure to form your own opinion, comment down below, respond to my many questions and conjectures and let's have a good time talking to each other. Black fishing, that word has been tossed around a lot for oh, the better part of like six to seven or eight months. So what is black fishing exactly? Black fishing is actually a recently coined term and what it is is basically a word used to characterize people who pretend to be black on social media. Now they do this by donning typically black hairstyles, by using makeup, by tanning or using other means to color their skin and in some cases by getting surgery. All of these together drastically change the appearance of the individual. Now typically this is something that is done by women of European descent. I mean white women, let's just be blunt here. <laughs> and of course the aim is to look like someone who has black ancestry, so black African ancestry. There are those that consider this to be the equivalent of modern day blackface because essentially it is people coming from more privileged backgrounds and taking what belongs to oppressed people, what we use to categorize ourselves what we used to identify ourselves and then profiting off of it as well as kind of making a mockery of it and now entering spaces that we are actually shut out of so it's really problematic and just really obnoxious altogether 
So who am I? Well, you all know me as FXR. I'm an American born and bred black woman of Nigerian descent. Though both of my parents are American citizens, they were born and spent their early years in Nigeria. Ethnically, they are of Nigeria. Therefore, ethnically, I am also of Nigeria. Now I say of Nigeria because being Nigerian is not an ethnicity. There are many ethnicities within Nigeria, which is a nationality. I classify my Myself as Nigerian American, similar to how children of other immigrants classify themselves as Chinese American, Mexican American, and etc. Though I was initially only an American national, I am now also a Nigerian national. Now I achieved this later in life, obviously. Though this is not really relevant where ethnicity is concerned, I feel that it is important to note. Why do people question my ethnicity? Hmm. Now in Nigeria and some other African countries, my skin tone is considered very light. For instance, in a Sudanese context, relative to the skin tone that is dominant in their own population, I would be considered quite light. And granted, I do look much lighter in person than I do in picture and in video because my skin tone is intensely olive. This coupled with the texture and length of my natural hair often has people assuming that I am some variation of mixed. I often also wonder if the way that I speak has anything to do with the way that people perceive me. Now my accent is extremely American, but it's also extremely neutral. Basically, you cannot determine my race or ethnicity from my accent or the way that I speak. And the dialect I speak with is heavily indicative of Central Maryland roots. There, the accent tends to be quite neutral. So I often wonder conjecture. Does the image of what it means to be black in America make the way I sound an anomaly? Because it really should not. Now personally, because of my own experience growing up, this would be very strange. This is how everyone around me sounded regardless of race or ethnicity. Now it's also important to note that I grew up adjacent to Baltimore, so I'm very familiar with an urban accent, which is the accent that people actually typically identify as black. However, this is a very problematic viewpoint to hold because the black identity is a very diverse one. And though I make use of idioms that are traditionally African-American vernacular English idioms, I don't think that the way I sound should eliminate me from the Black experience. Now again, the Black experience is very diverse and the Black identity is very diverse. So essentially, no Black person should need to sound a certain way in order to be an active participant in Black culture. Now another thing that people often cite as a reason why I don't look Black enough are the way that my features are set up. Now to me, that's very, very odd because my nose is not small. My lips are quite full. I have fairly pronounced cheekbones and my teeth are pretty large. These are typically very African features, not even just black American, but very African features. So the fact that people, even in Nigeria, especially in Nigeria, question my parentage is really perplexing. So oftentimes I ask myself, is it my makeup? Is it the way I experiment with my looks? But I mean, I'm hard pressed to see that it could be those reasons. And we're going to get into why. Now on the internet, enough people assume that I'm literally wearing bronzer and appropriating blackness, which to me is quite absurd. Now, I enjoy experimenting with freckles. I either wear zero blush or a ton of blush, contacts, and etc. The irony though is that my general application of makeup is extremely mild. Personally, I love the way that I look. I love the shape of my face and I don't want to change the shape of my face with makeup. That's why my highlight is not extreme. That's why my contour is not very deep. It's really just there to enhance and perfect my face. If anything, I am also always pretty much wearing my natural lashes like I am right now. My brows are pretty much never filled in. And these are all features that are very much black and very much who I am. So it's really interesting that people accuse me <laughs> of using makeup to make myself look black. 
These are my natural highlights and shadows. Of course, they have been enhanced with the makeup, but ultimately I'm not changing the shape of my face because my face is pretty popping as is, as far as I'm concerned. I'm comfortable with myself. Now, of course, I'm pretty biased because the accused is myself and the subject matter is black fishing. I mean, it's pretty personal. And as much as I'm attempting to step outside of myself, it's very difficult to because to me, I look extremely black, number one. And number two, I'm having a hard time seeing how I look even remotely white. I guess those two things are pretty much me saying the same thing in different ways, but I'm perplexed, y'all. I'm very perplexed. Now, if we take away all of the adornments of the internet, all my makeup, if we take away these extensions and I'm literally just barefaced and wearing my natural hair in a sleek bun, people in this environment still often question whether I'm mixed or not. At that point, I have to assume that it's the way that my skin looks in sunlight. Personally, I do not consider myself to be light-skinned, especially since I grew up in America. But what is considered normal in one society is not necessarily going to be consistent with the next society. So here I am considered fairly light, especially relative to groups of people that exhibit very deep skin tones. However, it's really interesting that I'm considered very light when literally other people within my own ethnicity in this country exhibit similar features. Now, this is the kind of thing that also makes me ask myself, is my perception of myself warped? Am I in denial? Is my appearance more ambiguous than I think? Seeing so many different types of black faces in the States, as well as being conditioned to believe that one drop of black essentially is black, I'm extremely hard pressed to see myself as even remotely ambiguous, especially because I know exactly who my parents are and exactly where they and I, by proxy, come from. So it's like, yo. So what is the big issue? At this point, the world seems to conveniently forget that the African gene pool is the most diverse gene pool on the entire planet. I know fully Yoruba Nigerian women with beautiful, deep, deep, deep dark skin and extremely curly 3B3C hair. I also know Ibibio people, my own ethnicity, with very, very light skin, very, very kinky 4C hair, and gray, gray eyes. I also, also know Fulani people with very, very chocolate skin and hair that's so loose it's almost wavy in texture. And I'm literally only speaking about the parts of these ethnicities that I've seen with my own eyes and that are native to Nigeria. Now the consistent appropriation of blackness by the likes of the Kardashians, Iggy Azalea, Ariana Grande, and hosts of white women actually incessantly tanning themselves to appropriate blackness and look like caricatures of black women has made it extremely difficult for the world population to see a striking black woman and believe that she is truly black. Obviously I'm biased, duh, I'm African, <laughs> but Africa literally produces the most beautiful and diverse women on the planet. And y'all are trying to tell me I ain't black when I'm literally ethnically of a country that is home to hundreds of diverse black ethnicities that are indigenous to the country. You men are moving mad. Who's your dad? Because that's literally absurd. Like it doesn't make any sense. The logic is completely backwards. So what does that mean? Is beauty synonymous with whiteness? Now, personally, I'm very comfortable with myself and I'm very okay with the way that I look. The people that encounter me perceive me to be beautiful, but the comma always is, am I fully black? Is beauty synonymous with whiteness? Have we been so brainwashed by our oppressors that we are unaware of the inherent beauty that we possess as black people? I am beautiful because I am black. I'm 100% black. It's absolutely ridiculous that anyone assumes I am other. Thick thighs, full hips, biggest hair, and bigger lips. These are some of the most pronounced and most celebrated features of blackness. Do not be deceived by the Kardashians and their legion of Beckys mutilating their bodies to try and make them do the things that our bodies naturally do. It is insulting to be this beautiful and be labeled as not black or be accused of not being black. It's absurd. Is it my beauty? Because I know I look way more chocolate in my videos and on Instagram, so it definitely can't be my skin tone. 
Is it the way that my skin glows because Auntie Becky, Cousin Becky, and Becky down the street could never achieve this? As a Nigerian American living in Nigeria, the kinds of oils and black soaps I'm using on my body, you people will not find it in the abroad. That's just the bottom line. If it's my natural hair, y'all are really moving mad because that should be more than enough evidence that I'm very much black. I'm actually tired. <laughs> I'm tired. To the many people that are perplexed by the way that I look, Please do some research so you know what black people actually look like. There is no single look, there is no single identity. Black people are very, very diverse. Africa is still the most diverse gene pool on the planet. To those who wonder whether or not I am mixed, if it's my hair, please go and watch my hair tutorial so that your hair can be long and luscious too. If it's my skin tone, there are millions of people in this country that are much lighter than I am and exhibit true light skin undertones. Please go and ask them whether or not they are mixed. To those who think I am changing my skin tone, these are black features. A white woman cannot look like this naturally, nor can a surgeon replicate this. You can ask Kim Kardashian and Kylie Jenner. All of their surgery has left them looking plastic, not black. For those of you that make up the majority and celebrate my blackness and your blackness with me, Thank you for understanding how beautiful and diverse blackness is. God bless you. Y'all, I said a lot. This probably won't be the last video on blackfishing, on blackness, on being a black woman accused of not being black. So please share your opinions down below. Let me know what else you think I should talk about. Let me know if you want to come for all these white influencers trying to look like black women because I'm down for that. I have no problem doing all of that. <laughs> Petty Betty can come out. So yeah, y'all, thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to share it with your friends and your loved ones. Comment down below. Let me know what you think. Please weigh in. I'm pretty sure I look black. I think it's absurd that we even had to make this kind of video. How can I, for God's sake, be accused of not being black when I'm literally like as black as you can get? I'm Nigerian, for goodness sake. Um. So yeah, please weigh in. Please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. And last but never least, be sure to subscribe to my channel and turn your notifications on so you know every time I post a new video. Thank you so much for sticking with me. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next video. Ta-ta for now.